Welcome to Grey Primer, a weekly show that's mostly about miniatures. My name is Nick, I'm your host, and this is the final day of the Warcry New Year's weekend. And I think I've saved the weirdest to last with the Chaotic Beasts. It's been great reconnecting with Warcry over the last five days and some beautiful miniatures, some real creepy stuff going on. And I think this is definitely a little box of strange right here with the uh, chaotic beasts. And I'm looking forward to getting stuck into it. Back soon. All right. So here it is. The final unboxing on this Warcry New Year special. And uh, this is jammed. This box absolutely jammed full of stuff. It's kind of almost swollen in the middle there. Loving the uh, branding here up in the corner. It is just absolutely nightmarish. Whatever that hairy skulled bird monster is. And we have a mixture of these um, Raptorix and Furies. So that's what we've got throughout. It's, I think it's six Raptorix in different poses and six Furies in different poses as well. I think it'll be interesting to see if these sculpts are individual enough to, to not all just feel like it's six of the same miniature. I don't think the Furies will be because they're in sort of different um, stages of getting into flight. This one's kind of leaping off. This one's just getting ready to spring and this one is down on the ground. But the uh, Raptorix, I'm not sure. Let's, I mean, let's find out. <laughs> That's what we're here for. Uh, so getting into this box and really this is like, feels like this box is about to spring open. There's so much stuff in it. So let's get it open, if I can. It is jammed, absolutely crammed full of stuff in there. That was very much ready to pop. And we've got the instruction manual here. There are a lot of miniatures in this actually. I think the fact that those Raptorix are on cavalry bases makes them look even bigger. And let's see what we got inside here. So all of the, uh, read this first stuff, 32 mil bases, and then yeah, those 60 millimeter cavalry bases. So the oval bases, and then into the instructions here. So these look super spindly. I hope that they're gonna be stable enough coming off the sprue. I'm always terrified of damage them as they come off the sprue, especially with spindly miniatures because they're hard to repair. And then a host of colors there. Oh, wow. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen so many uh, colors on the back of one of these guides. Uh, perhaps there are crossovers there. I kind of hope there are. So we are into duplicate sprues. So let's just cut through them. That's a double. And then that's a double. Okay. That was easy enough. I'll just have a look at the little cards and everything that come with it. And as we're now used to with uh, Warcry, we've got multilingual cards which makes a lot of sense uh, rather than sort of having to package them up individually for the different regions. Um, and then you've got the abilities here and then the uh, universal abilities on the back for these units. Oh, they do look cool though, don't they? All right. And then the little stats cards here for them as well with their branding on the back. Okay. Let's check out the smaller sprue first. This is a really neat sort of wing design. I'm not seeing it as spindly as I thought it might be, so that's encouraging. I'm loving the texture on the wings. Be an interesting challenge to get them that sort of um, translucence you get with bat wings. That sort of black matte, well not matte, it's more like a satiny sort of thing. And they are slight, ever so slightly see-through. I think that'd be really cool to, to replicate that in one of these. And then many, many feathers and creepy little heads. Later, I will be leaving to go get these built. Looks good. Well, looks like a whole bunch of wings and feathers, but I'm sure when they're put together, they're going to make a lot more sense and look fantastic. I will be right back. Okay, it looks like a lot of plastic here on this, but we've got uh, duplicates of everything. So the Furies here come in three different sculpts. So here, here, and here. And then the Raptorix come in three sculpts as well, although they might as well come in one sculpt, in all honesty. Uh, there's so little between them. But let's have a look at the Furies anyway. And um, these were a little awkward to put together. They're super spindly. I wasn't really... A 
Huge fan of the head sculpts on them. But the wings are nicely put together. I love the sort of the slenderness of the body, the sort of the skinny, spiky tail. And yeah, generally they're okay. This one is jumping off of a piece of sort of rubble or something and has got a nice dynamic pose, the beard sort of swinging in the back there with the wind and got this uh, groovy looking dagger. Almost looks like one of the Megiddo daggers from um, the Omen movie. But I like the uh, the wings at full splay here. Uh, this has got a nice sort of uh, dynamic look to it. Um, constantly wants to snag other miniatures and make them all fall over. So just bear that in mind because these little the ends of these wings are spiky and they will snag everything within range. I'm actually going to glue a penny to the base of this just to give it a little bit more of a lower center gravity. And then the final sculpt of the Furies here is another one of the more dramatic ones, clambering over this different piece of rubble. A uh, cool dagger in the hand, the beard sort of swinging around behind it there, and the wings again at sort of full splay. But yeah, nice. Um, they're okay. I, I think putting a penny into the base of these is going to give you um, a bit more stability, take away a little of that heartache of watching one of these sort of fly off because it got snagged on something or you, you tipped a wing accidentally and the whole thing just fell over but let's get on to these raptorics now now the raptorics do come in three different sculpts they do have a range of of head sculpts here so you can um mix and match those to add a little bit of variety but i'll be honest with you i think that the sculpts are so very similar that it almost looks like it's just sort of six of the same miniature really all you have are slightly different sort of um, positions for the wings like three different positions it's almost like you know this is it flapping its wings in three different frames of animation um so not my favorite miniature to be honest i mean as a standalone there's some great details in them i love the faces the muscle tone they even got some sort of piercings here and there um, where is it? Oh, yeah, you can see it on the underside here. It's the sort of ring piercings. You've got beautiful wings and um, the tails look kind of lethal. Very small contact points to the base, but they're reinforced by little bits of rubble and stuff. So it doesn't feel like they're too flimsy. Although there is quite a bit of flex, as you can see here, if you move them. Um, but for me, yeah, it's, it's even like it feels weird showing you these, these other two because... They're just so similar. They're probably tiny little details that differentiate them, but I didn't really see much between them. I guess this third miniature has the skulls on the base that it's kind of kicking off of. Um, again, to give it that increased uh, contact point for the glue, but a nice little design feature as well there. Um, and then the, the piercings underneath. But I suppose what you could do here to set them apart is in the different plumage you paint onto them. You could have a bit of fun there. With the Furies, I guess, as well, you could paint up the, the wings to look different colors. You could have, you know, emblems on them. It doesn't have to just be traditional sort of bat wings. You can have a bit of bit of fun there. So uh, that's it, though. That is the end of my Warcry weekend. Uh, I wish I'd left something cool, like the uh, Corvus Cabal or something for the end. Because these Chaos Beasts didn't really do a huge amount for me. But that's probably because the bar was set so high with the likes of the Corvus Cabal by the, the Ogroid as well from the first day. I'll put links to all those different sort of individual videos down below. And you can check those out. But hey, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you did, please like, share and subscribe. I post footage every single weekend. I've got playlists in there. So check those out. Have a wander. See if there's something that grabs your interest and if there's something that you'd like me to feature on the channel please let me know in the comments below i always love hearing from you up next on gray primer is a series that is going to run all the way through january every single week i'm going to take a tank from the real world or an armored vehicle from the real world and i'm going to give it the orc treatment so that starts next friday with the m577 command post I have no idea what the orcs are going to do to that, but it's going to be dacatastic. Until then, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.